Uncle Paul. Have I been a naughty boy recently? Is that why you haven't talked to me in over 10 years? Oh, Socko! <laughs> Lord have mercy. I hope you've washed Socko. Socko's had a bath, have uh, you? This is a clean one. This is a 2-5 new... oh. celebrating uh, my 25th year in wrestling. And uh, you entered my life uh, in Dallas? 22 years ago. In Dallas. In Dallas, Texas. And uh, who knew we'd go on to... Uh, uh, form such a successful partnership. Hey, uh, I'm talking with my mentor, Percy Pringle. Whatever it is, you can wait. My youngest son was just a year old when you first came to Dallas. Of all the rest of you baby, you babysat the only one time. who ever babysat your children. I mean, others may, but I mean, guys. I don't think I'd around. let any other wrestler <laughs> babysit my children, to tell you the truth. And then I, I remember taking them to the movies, and, uh, and, and this was, you know, this was long. He's before, gonna be thrilled uh, to hear. Do you remember that? Uh, oh, of course, of course, I do. There's only a couple people, uh, you know, that I go back that far with, and uh, we had no idea that we would form something that would uh, have such an impact. I mean, I'm thinking back to uh, Cleveland, Ohio, uh, when uh, you turned. Yes. On, the boiler uh, room brawl. The boiler room brawl, and you turned, and uh, I was so honored that you know you really only get one real turn. It's before I turned. You know, once you, you've been established as being something, you only get that one real turn that people remember. So I was flattered that it was me. And the room, uh, the ring was filling up with garbage, and it was, uh, man, it was, it was, it was pretty cool. Uh, we had so much fun. I think it was because of us they closed Clinton Square in Pennsylvania down. Didn't they? It is exactly the, exa the CYO Hall, the Catholic Youth Organization. And I, now, am I allowed, in the founder camp, am I allowed to talk this way? Uh, Jack Lanza was, um, he was concerned because at the time the product was pretty risque. We were on the line there. Didn't so we? he went and talked to the every priest. member. Yeah, the, he, the priest told him he didn't want any bad language. And Jack Lanza went and talked to every member of the crew except me because I, I never used bad language. But he talked to me. He did talk to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, the. Um, the outlaws did their, you know, their SUC, yeah, their, their, their thing, and uh, they had no idea that I would get on the microphone and say, Go ball, I don't want to suck it, don't make me suck it. Does it suck it, suck it, <laughs> suck it. Next thing we know, we couldn't run that building anymore. <laughs> that was the end of that. I think the bishop had a heart attack. <laughs> Which, I, I, that was a fun building to, to work in until you got your check. And then I was like, why do we go to that CYO set? But what's so wonderful about this business of making is, is that I haven't seen you in, in God's right, way, right, yeah. but there's a certain people that you that you meet through the years, you know, a handful of them. That if it's been 10 years or even even 20 years, that's all I got other than I seen you 20 years. You sit down like we are, and it's like yesterday. You know, there it was, was just like a, yesterday. A young man I met who'd uh, you know he'd, he'd been through some pretty uh, big struggles, and uh, he wrote me a letter several years ago saying, you know, what have I done wrong? Uh, haven't written me in three years, and so I, I didn't know how to email at the time, you know. So I wrote a letter back. I was like, "You don't understand. Like, we go years without seeing each other, and it's that's just part of, you know, part of the business that you you you, you don't see one someone for several years. You acknowledge what a big role they played, and then as soon as you see them, like, bam, exactly. it might as well have been uh, yesterday. And it's not just you. There's a lot of guys on the car oh, yeah. tonight I hadn't seen in so long. I watch you on TV, of course, and keep track of what y'all you guys do. But it's just, uh, it's just an amazing business that we have in our blood, and by God, we're still doing it. We're you still know, doing it! You, you know what's funny is that uh, people, I always call you Uncle Paul. Yeah, I called you, uh, called you Mommy. 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 But people know, I, I called you Uncle Paul on the show a lot. The reason you called me Mommy was really just done for a localized, it was a localized interview. Uh, we were, I was, uh, you were managing me, and I was with Gold Dust, and just on a whim we decided to, Start singing. Why do birds suddenly appear whenever you are near? We had so much fun. Just like you, just like me, they love to be close to you. And then I called Goldust Mommy. And we did it for like three towns, uh, but it stuck in your mind. Yeah, I'll just so call you Mommy from then on. <laughs> I don't know. But it's hey, hey, good to it's, see you. it's great to see you. I'm going to go out there. I mean, I don't, I don't just put on the. Yeah. The Hawaiian shirt and shorts. I'll be watching. Crowd. I'll be watching from the back. Yeah, this shows I'm taking this seriously. Seriously, and my favorite memory in this building is uh, 
wrestling Sting in 1992, I was getting over whooping cough. Made it really tough for me to have a really good match because I was coughing so bad against everyone I wrestled. So actually, I, I got in the gym for about two months. I just had my mind set on Sting. And uh, that was the that, that was like that match I tried to live up to for the next four years, and I topped it you know, four years later. But uh, it's funny that everywhere you go in the country, you seem to have a specific memory. Yeah, you know, and each building. Of, I remember when. I remember this. I remember yeah. I, yeah. I thought I'm either going to see uh, uh, Percy Pringle or Robert Howard. And, uh, well, <laughs> you know Percival's here. But the thing about you, you remember. You can remember dates and stuff. Yeah. They, all the years just go. They just run together. You, okay. you're, you're remembering dates, and I'm going. What year was so, that? What year it's was only that? my short-term memory. What year shot. was that? Yeah. But it's so good to see you guys. Well, really thank you, and we're glad to have you. And I guess, you know, it's it's not like you, someone. It's not like you need an invitation to come down. Uh, you know, you're welcome anywhere on the Gulf Coast.